Hey everybody, Eric with MountModernLife.com. Now one question we get asked quite frequently is how we changed out the light fixtures in our RV. Now let me let you know that it's a lot easier than you think. Now you may have seen in the past our previous video on how we changed out our dome lights with uh, new LED dome lights. I'll link to that video in the description below. Uh, also you could click right here. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be focusing in on our other light fixtures that are a little more custom and a little bit more our style. Now, before we go too far, I do want to let you know that uh, Katie and I are not electricians. Um, all of uh, everything that I'm going to tell you right now is based off of a lot of research we did, and it seems to work perfectly fine for us. Um, so if you're having any concerns about your own RV and maybe changing out your own light fixtures or something like that, uh, we definitely suggest you reach out to an electrician, uh, maybe have a conversation with them, or even have them install the new light fixtures for you as well. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and dive into this. Uh, if you look at this picture right here, this is our light fixture in our bathroom. Um, now, that light fixture is actually a normal residential light fixture that we picked up at Lowe's, uh, and we brought it into the RV, and we went ahead and installed it. Now, the key is, is that when you're in an RV, um, the light fixtures are generally powered by 120 volt or 12 volt. Now, in our case, for our RV, which every RV is different, we all know that, but in our case, all of our light fixtures are actually powered by the 12 volt, which is based off of the battery. Now, so what's important to note is that if you change out a light fixture, all you need to make sure is that your light bulb is the same as the power source. So for instance, with that, for instance, with that light fixture in the bathroom, it was a residential light fixture, but our power supply coming in was 12 volt and our light bulb was 12 volt. So we went ahead and installed it, plugged it all in, screwed it into the socket, and it worked like a charm. Uh, here we have a custom made light fixture that Katie made. Uh, same situation, the sockets and the wiring was all residential, but we plugged in our 12 volt light bulb with our 12 volt power source and it works. So um, that's really the key, is making sure that if you're going to change out your light fixtures, you can use any light fixtures you want. You just need to make sure that the light bulb and the power source match. So if you look here, you can see me and Katie obviously love the Edison style bulbs. And we also thought it was extremely important to go with LED. So if you look here, you can see our larger version that we have. Um, we actually use this in this light fixture and the one above our sofa. Um, and then here in the middle, you have a smaller version, which we use for the three-way light fixture in the hallway, uh, mainly because these light bulbs were a little too long and uh, they just wouldn't quite fit in there. So we went with a smaller version. And then you may have seen in uh, one of our previous videos or posts that we made mason jar light fixtures in our bedroom. Now those required really small light bulbs, so we went with the smaller version of the Edison LED light bulb. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description box below that will take you to one of our posts. Now in that post we go into a lot more detail on the lights and how they work. And we also link to the different light bulbs and things like that if you're having trouble finding them. Um, so definitely check that out. If you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below. Uh, thank you much for swinging by again today. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys again soon.